What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash of the Dark. Today we're going to talk about the Town Hall 11 Electron Lawzone attack. One of my favorite Town Hall 11 attacks and one that you should definitely have in your own arsenal. So we're going to talk about it in detail. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get into the action here. So the goal of this attack is to get a slammer or a blimp to open up and drop out an E-drag and a balloon that will get cloned and raged right on top of the queen. If you can do that, it'll take out the queen, take out the CC troops, and take out everything in the area but sometimes it's very difficult to get a blimp into the base because the sweepers are often facing directly away from the town hall so sometimes we got to get a little creative with it and we use the slammer after the heroes carve out some perimeter defenses so the slammer has access to go around that sweeper range and get in and jump that e-drag out he has the poison down for the cc the e-drags come out he's got the clone and the rage looks like he accidentally cloned an e-drag don't know if that was on purpose or not but either way he will have these e drives get a couple shocks through the base. They took out the queen. The CC's down. He got the eagle out of it, so all the better. And now he's all set up for a lolan. So now, notice what's left of the base here. The base is left in a big C shape. So he can just start on one end of the C and work its way around, dropping in balloons to take out all the perimeter defenses as he works his way around. A freeze while he gets through the inferno. And he has more freezes in the bag here, so we can use those to get to the other inferno. You can also use a heal spell on the backside inferno. I like to freeze the first inferno or warden ability through it and then uh heal through the last inferno but it's all up to you depends on what value you can get out of a freeze so look at this value here he has an inferno a wizard tower and a air defense all grouped together so that's going to get more value than a heal would and he freezes it again and the haste worked the blues to the base the haste are primarily for getting the balloons through splash defenses but if you have other haste or if you have extra haste there then you can use them wherever and look at how much this base is crushed here minions and pups down to follow the beauty of this attack here is that you have basically a full Laloon army after the clone so the clone goes off and it guts the base and gets all the key targets down and you have only used your slammer your cc troops and your a couple spells so you have a full army after that to go in and get the rest of the base and he absolutely crushed it here this is uh what's his name god I guess. <laughs> All right, let's go check out some more attacks here and see some different ways that we can do this attack before we go do the live attack. All right, guys, we're going to pause this one for just a second and talk about the different options we have to do an electron on this base. So the biggest determining factor of whether or not you can do an electron on the base is whether or not you're going to go into the sweeper range with your blimp or your slammer on the way to the queen. So if you go into that range, it's going to knock you back and it's going to minimize your chances of reaching that queen. And if you miss her, then the raid is pretty much already over. So let's see what our options are. So we have the sweeper facing this way and we have the sweeper facing this way so blimp options are pretty minimal here we have a small window the town halls at the very top of the base here so our small window would include this uh, wizard tower and this arch tower which is doable we could drop the queen right in there but i predict that there is a tornado trap right in here somewhere because it is such a high value entry right there for a blimp to drop an electron that i think they would be smart enough to put the the tornado trap right there to catch all your clone balloons and hold them while all this damage in the area here pelts them down so we're gonna have to go for maybe a different option here and try to think outside the box and that's why we look at the backside entry here so look at the the sweepers here there is a big window on the top side here but how do you get a blimp in here well you can't you have to use a slammer because it will uh be able to go target defenses and not have to go to the town hall so we have to clear out all these defenses on the outside so we have a path into the eagle so we can come up on the back side of the queen here and behind the sweepers and get close enough to that queen to drop that e-drag out clone it and get the value we need so let's watch how he does it here because that's the path that amareth does and he doesn't try to come in with a blimp on the bottom side which we'll watch out for the tornado, tornado trap i have a feeling it's there i didn't verify it before i watched this but i'm pretty sure that's where i would put it and all right here we go we have the king working his way through the defenses here a couple tests as they're popping and they're clearing out everything in the area here so we have a path directly to the eagle as we punch into the base so watch the king here the king is really stupid and he's being annoying and uh he attacks the wall <laughs> also 
we saw on previous attacks here these decorations that are blocking the corners here that makes so the queen can't shoot over the wall and hit this defense you can do that with infernos you can do it with everything the the decorations will block those corners and even though it looks like you would normally be able to reach in there and hit that eagle you can't so the king beats through the wall there goes and gets a couple shots off onto the eagle doesn't finish it off there and now he's ready for the slammer that unfortunately pulls the cc but he's lucky enough that his queen was still alive and she's able to draw the hound out of the way if it was another cc it might have caused a whole lot of problems here and he would have been in trouble so he freezes the air defense on the entry here and then he clones and rages and now he's able to have that e-drag come out and it get cloned by another e-drag again i we keep seeing this i normally like to clone the balloons it looks like he's dropping the clones in advance and just getting uh lucky or unlucky i don't know it doesn't really make too much of a difference which one you get as long as they get the queen down if they get the queen down and they get a couple shots off then you're going to be okay this air defense somehow stays standing at the top here and draws his hound off and he doesn't have a way to bring down that uh air defense now because all of his balloons are already dropped and that air defense should have gone down to the electro there's the tornado trap right there exactly where i said it would be and it would have caught his balloons and they would have gotten no value in that area and he probably would have missed the queen so good thing he didn't go in with a slammer or the blimp on that side i mean and he ends up bringing this base down the popping of the hounds ends up taking down the air defense on the top side there so lux out a little bit with that but the balloons are able to bring it in here all by themselves without any tanking from those hounds and he gets the three star anyway so amareth getting creative avoiding the trap of the tornado trap there luring him into an electron from the bottom of the base and still brings in the triple very nice job we're gonna look at one more and then we're gonna go do a live one in the clan war leagues all right guys let's pause this once again and look at the sweepers here to try to determine our possible entries into this base so we have the sweepers point up and down with the queen right under them we have the town hall all the way on the edge of the base and so we can't send in a blimp from this side by the town hall we have to send it in opposite so we have the options of a slammer entry on the town hall side or a blimp entry opposite so what do we want to do well what of our what are, how close can we get to the queen on this side we can land there's kind of a big dead zone in here that might kind of force us up into the sweepers here so we could potentially do that i have a feeling the uh tornado trap is probably right here by the eagle so that area would be kind of dangerous on the top side more up here we could potentially do that uh yeah that could work i think that could work as well but let's go look at the slammer entry as well because that's what he ends up doing on this one so it is a difficult path to push a slammer through here and how do you actually create this path? Because you gotta get all the way into the queen of the slammer and you don't get all the extra support units. And so it can be a little bit tricky sometimes. So you gotta get creative. And that's exactly what Dr. Disrespect is gonna do here using the ice golem and the queen. Their job is to go in after this air defense and the cannon. Whatever else they can grab is just a bonus. On the other side, he's gonna use a couple of balloons to go after the mortar. That will create the pathing that he needs to get into the base. So now watch where the slammer is gonna come down. It's gonna come down on the wizard tower. Then the second target will be the archer tower. Then it will go to the inferno. The queen's gonna pop her ability. She's gonna get a little bit further. Maybe she can step up and take out the wizard tower. Don't remember. But the slammer is making its way into the base here. Don't forget on the opposite side of the base here, we have the king working his way in as well. And he's clearing out some other defenses on the other side, including this archer tower and this wizard tower all the way over there. On the electro dragon side here, they're gonna take out the dragon that came out of the CC, get some shocks into the base, and then they'll continue on just a little bit further he cloned the e-drag again uh I like to clone the balloons. I tend to like to clone the balloons, but they keep cloning the E-Drags. I don't know if it's on purpose, but they, it keeps happening and they still get the value they need. That's the strength of this attack. You don't have to get one or the other. I like to get the balloons, especially when I'm in high damage areas around like a bunch of air defenses and single infernos or lots of expos and stuff like that because the E-Drags don't last long without the cover and the combined health of all those balloons can give them the shielding they need to get the targets down that they want with just one e dragon in there so he's gonna use his haste to work his way through all the splash defenses and then the freezes to lock down those splash defenses to get those balloons time to move in the hounds are gonna go across the base there they pop and now he's got plenty of cleanup as well the balloons taking a weird path here to try to get into that final air defense but there's so many of them 
that your only threat is really the splash damage. If you can take out the wizard towers and take out the infernos, then these giant packs of balloons that clump up at the end aren't going to have any problem working their way through a few point defenses, and you'll still be able to bring in the triple. So now, let's go plan out a live attack that we're going to do during the clan war leagues here. I got one all planned up, and we're going to go and see if we can bring it down. And this one's got single infernos. I predict damage CC. It's a ring base. It's going to be relatively easy, and it's going to be simple and it might be something that maybe you're seeing more often than these very very difficult well-structured bases that we're seeing in Jayop and King Jeffrey's war here so let's go check it out All right, guys, here's the base that I'm going to be attacking for the Clan War Leagues. As you can see, we have a center town hall. That's going to open up all kinds of blimp path entries here, and I think that's what we're going to go with. So we have the sweepers pointing down and up, and I have access to the queen for the blimp or a slammer, really, from anywhere on this side of the base here. The slammer pathing can be a little bit unpredictable if I have Tesla's popping, so I think I'm going to stick to the blimp, and I can get deeper penetration into the base here with a blimp than I can with a slammer, and get guarantee that I get all the way in and get the eagle the sweeper and the queen those are my targets here if I can get anything else on top of that then that's great but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get this uh, wizard tower might get a uh, air defense or two we're not sure we're not sure we're gonna have to play that one by ear but now we got to determine where I want to send in my heroes so what is a good spot for the heroes? I don't need to use them to use these to get a slammer into the base, so that kind of opens up anywhere I want to use them. So I think I'm going to go after wizard towers. There's very limited uh, splash on the base here. I have the single infernos that are not going to splash down my balloons, so those are going to get crushed. I have a wizard tower over here. I have a wizard tower over here. This one's going down to the electron, so I'm left with these two up here on the edge of the base. I'm going to send my heroes right in there. That's going to have the extra benefit of after I take down these and these then when the balloons come out of the slammer they will be able to not spread to those defenses on the top side and they'll be able to work their way through the wizard or through the the air defenses here and maybe i can get a couple air defenses out of it as well but i don't know we'll see let's go do this and see if we can bring in this three star with the electron loom. all right guys troops are all cooked let's go see if we can smash this we're going live in three two one one we're in here we go so let's start it off with the king and a baby dragon to go push that king up to the wizard towers get the queen down and let's see if they can get both wizard towers they shouldn't have any problem getting to them no the king's attacking a wall um hope he doesn't pull the cc all right uh that's not bad that's not bad the queen can get an air defense now Let's see if you can still get the wizard towers and get an air defense. That would be amazing as we push in here. King's down. Let's see how much value this queen can get. We're gonna get the expo. We'll pop our ability. And all right, let's send in this blimp. Let's go. All right, let's get a clone double rage poison. No, double clone rage poison. Set that backwards. Here we go. All right, queen's down. Let's start this lawloon. Don't need to wait for all of our balloons to die. Balloons surrounding the entire base here, warding down. We'll get some uh, haste to enter the base here. And uh, minions. We want to save our haste mostly for the splash damage. So let's work our way in. We got our haste going into the wizard tower. Let's get a warden now. All right, so we're working our way into the back wizard tower. We'll get one more haste down, going into that. And this looks crushed, guys. This looks absolutely crushed. We've done it. We brought in the Electron. It's so, so effective against single Infernos. It's a little bit tougher against the Multis, but either way you want to do it, it's so powerful. And you can get three stars all day with this attack strategy. So. Go out there, give it a try in your own wars, and this will be it for me today. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I would fast forward it here, but I think it's going to be done cleaning up here shortly enough. So, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.